in partnership with the Elizabeth Dole Foundation and the Veterans Administration Black Hills Caregiver Support Office, we're, pre we're pleased to present our first Hidden Hero of the Month recognition to Amber Oldfield. Mrs. Oldfield grew up in Colorado Springs, Colorado and moved to Rapid City after her husband's military retirement in order to be near his family. Over the years, Mrs. Oldfield has been by her husband's side to see him through a failed spinal surgery, three subsequent surgeries, and the trials and tribulations brought on by post-traumatic stress disorder. In 2016, Ms. Oldfield was chosen by the Elizabeth Dole Foundation to serve as South Dakota's Dole Fellow. As such, Mrs. Oldfield assisted in launching the Hidden Heroes campaign on September 27, 2016 in Washington, D.C. In addition, Mrs. Oldfield had drafted legislation requiring the Department of Defense uh, to counsel separating military members on the availability of veteran caregiver programs to better assist with the hardships military families sometimes endure. Mrs. Oldfield takes great pride in serving her husband, who has given so much in service to our country. She finds great purpose in ensuring that her husband has a high quality of life while providing a secure and happy home for their five children and one nephew. In addition to being a grateful veteran caregiver and Dole Fellow, Mrs. Oldfield is also an independent business owner and a public speaker. Mrs. Oldfield has been humbly serving our country as a military spouse and veteran caregiver with dedication, compassion, and sacrifice, making her an excellent hidden hero of the month. Her advocacy and service to our military and veteran community makes her deserving, deserving of this honor, and we would like to extend our gratitude. Thank you, Amber. This, um, this award comes about uh, in part um, because uh, former Senator uh, Elizabeth Dole uh, and her husband Bob and all of the uh, uh, medical care that he's needed uh, over the many decades since he served in the military. And she called here to the mayor's office and um, wanted to uh, speak with me and I and, and so I thought well she's got a lot of people to talk to she will will we read the information it's a good a good thing to recognize the caregivers back at home who are taking care of our veterans uh, we we always we find every reason possible and take great pride in in thanking our veterans but the uh, the silent caregivers are really the uh, the ones that we're uh, drawing attention to uh, today and uh, well, Mrs. Dole wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have it. She called back and made sure she could talk to me and uh, uh, thanked us for our support of this. And uh, I would say that uh, us getting this program off the ground in Rapid City really uh, in the mayor's office has a lot to do with our mayor's office executive coordinator, Kelsey Sekos, who ducked behind the uh, uh, cover. Um, might have been afraid I was gonna say her name but uh, she's done a lot of work getting this organized from our end, and Amber's done a lot of work with the uh, Dole Foundation getting this together. So very proud to present this award tonight, and I think this, this is the beginning of something good where we get to recognize the, uh, the spouses and family members at home who are taking care of our veterans. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. Would you like thank to you. say something? Um, just something brief. Okay. <laughs> I won't talk long. I just wanted to thank all of our kids who put up with a lot of crazy while we were trying to figure out um, Jace's retirement and everything that has gone on, but also thank you for taking the time to review the material. I know it's chaotic and you have a lot going on, but Libby Dole doesn't say no or take no from anybody. <laughs> and, um, I just appreciate you working with her and working with us. That's all. Thank you. I appreciate it.